failed to post to Twitter. Which I don't give a shit about whether I posted to Twitter or not. Ah. Mm. All right. Yeah, we go. Ah. Uh, that didn't feel good. We are doing. We are burning the Celtic plan on. Oh. We are. Yay, Celtic Brennan. I am. I'm getting caught. And tomorrow, we get getting up next. Yay. Hey, guys. We're getting everything set up, ready to go. We're kind of. Still trying to fix the mess up. Yes, trying to get everything lined up, situated, sorted out. This morning we worked on electronic buttons that weren't quite working properly yesterday. Hey, Gabby. She wants a career reading, please, and thank you. Most definitely. And we apologize. For not being able to see you yesterday. <sighs> and we're still a hot mess today because we're still. <laughs> yeah. I just crawled out of a bath so I look like a drowned rat. But man, I smell good and I'm so soft. I love our bath bombs. We make the best bath products ever. <laughs> and don't even get me started on our candle. Okay. Oh, I got a white one in here. A white one what? A lily of the valley, mighty mighty. Oh, nice. It's calling my name. Mm. Did you just get this? Yes, ma'am. Girl. <laughs> oh, shit, there was still some in the little one. Yeah. Money and career. Yeah. Uh oh. That was a uh -huh. Okay. It's coming. It's coming. You're still kind of unsure of yourself, and it shows in the cards, Gabby. What is she unsure about? I don't know, but she's got her empress upside down. Uh-oh. Now, yeah. now, she's got the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups right side up. She's also got the Nine of Pentacles. She's... We just got a new deck of cards. Yes. And I want to play with him. Yeah. I want to play with him. Okay, there's also a King of Swords here. Oh, yeah. Those Kings of Swords are everywhere. Okay, so... Keep doing what you're doing. You're going to gain confidence every time you get a rejection. The Five of Swords is the victory at all costs, and it is upside down. So Somebody's I'm not sure. Defeated. Yeah, I'm not sure how this new submission is gonna go. There's the death card is also upside down. So it's it's saying that you're not wanting to take that leap of faith just yet. You're, you're 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 still waiting to rebirth yourself. Does she currently have a job? That she's looking to upgrade. 
she submitted. This is Dallas. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Because I, I, I just felt like something's going on there. Yeah. No, she doesn't have a job. She's submitting manuscripts. And that's what she's asking about. She just submitted another manuscript to a produ to a new producer. Well, for a yes or no question, that was a yes. But with the strength card out, I mean, it's a vague question. I, I don't feel like it's going to be tomorrow. I think it's going to happen, but I don't feel it's going to be tomorrow. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, she, she and her, her hand. Yeah, I'm feeling that defeated energy real bad. Yeah. And you know, you know at the point where you feel the most defeated, your breakthrough is right around the corner. Well, nothing worthwhile happens in a moment. It builds up. Well, I got two yeses and a maybe. And what I'm going to say on the maybe is it depends on you, ma'am. Um, I'll be back. I got to get some coffee. <laughs> or not. Oh, sorry. I keep hearing, yes, it's going to happen. It's just not going to happen exactly when you want it to. It's not going to be an overnight thing, Gabby. It's going to it's gonna take a minute. And anything worth having doesn't happen like that. Everybody, you know, a lot of people want things to happen right now, but, you know, Sometimes it does, but I'm not getting a feeling with this one, sweetheart. I think it's going to take a while, and I think you ought to look into writing side things, like advertisements, or, you know, something you can do quickly for money. I still feel like you're going to be coming into something here. But it's going to take you healing the way you see yourself, sweetheart. And I think you're on the verge of that. I think you're on the verge of taking your past and, and being able to overcome the defensiveness that you carry with you today because of your past and once you kind of heal that wound things are going to start moving for you because once you start healing that wound um, even people trying to keep you down won't be able to so that's what you're waiting on, sweetheart. Honestly, it's that healing. And you have to allow that, that to happen. Poor Don, I took the last cup of coffee and snuck in here. <laughs> Oops. It's good, though. That's okay. That just means that my cup's going to be a fresh pot. Mm-hmm. And that's even better. I didn't even get a fresh pot made this morning. 
Yes, ma'am, your triumph is coming. You just got to have patience. And I know that it gets frustrating because you want things to happen. If you look at the history of people in Hollywood, the producers and whatnot, they have so many failures. They're at their very last wit's end before finally somebody picks up their show and, and says, says wow. this is actually pretty good. Let's get a hold of this person. Uh -oh. So just have patience. What's going on with this sister's candle over here? I'm not sure. It's acting like one of Missy's. I'm not sure. It also seems that all of the herbs mm -hmm. um, bunched up on the wick. Is that what's going on there? Yeah, I think so. Because this wick was big and fuzzy, too. Mm -hmm. Um, I think the wick fell over. Yeah. Wick fell? Yep. Okay. Alright, we're going to blow that one out. Okay, we'll try to stand it back up as it's set. Oh, so that it... Something to do it with. We got to help the sister out. Uh -huh. oh, I'm a pro at this one. I know. I'm also noticing that these candles were lit at the same time, but that one burned a lot faster. Somebody needed a little more um, protection and grounding. <laughs> Gee, protection yeah, from what? <laughs> that nice person? <laughs> oh, well, you know. That great freaking guy. Hello. Who else just showed up? La 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 la. Of course, I need protection. We all need protection. Absolutely. In this world today where people are freaking flipping nuts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they think they're the ones that are. We all have our guides in overtime right <laughs> now. That's the absolute truth. We all have our guys. Um, my poor guys are like, what the hell did she do now? <laughs> you better pay me over time. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. All right. Somebody's studying. Oh boy. Yeah, somebody studying. I think there's a lot of people that are really studying though. They're 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 trying to get a better understanding of themselves right now. There's also a lot more people going entrepreneurial and um trying to create their own business, so that makes for a whole lot of studying. Like and don't uh, use uh, legal zoom. Our lovely little lady that was across from us over the weekend, she'd been studying for 10 years to be able to make those teas the way that they were. And they were fantastic. Nature, nature made me. Rosie. She is Rosie. absolutely fantastic. Yes. And she makes the best iced tea and she uses a... Natural herbs and agave, Guava, agave, Guava. agave nectar. It was agave she told me nectar. Guava. No, agave. She told me black guava. Black guava. Hmm. Maybe she uses both. Which one did you ask her for? Uh, fruity tea. Okay. <laughs> the Rudy Tooty Fresh and Fruity. <laughs> the yummy one. Yeah. That was yeah. packed full of vitamins and gave us an energy boost in the middle of the day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we had so much fun at that psychic fair. We did we did all kinds of meeting new people. We got new connections. We'll be out doing more fairs. We got good wine. There was yes, there was so many amazing talented people there. Oh, look at this. Look at this wine. Okay. This wine is all natural, organic. And can you see the top of it? It's a lavender wine. 
and it's so freaking good. And I like it, and I will drink it. And I don't like drinking. Okay, that's about enough right there. That's about a glass. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Hey, this Ida. Is not. For Are we not on YouTube? So yesterday we weren't on. We 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 couldn't see comments on Facebook, and today we're not on YouTube. Ida's has been. Oh really? Yeah. Apparently. Ah. <sighs> Hey guys. Well, it's supposed to be doing live from YouTube. That's interesting. So. Did the coffee pot yell at me? Nothing. Not yet. It's still going. Okay. So now I'm a two fisted drinker. I got coffee and wine. So I'll be a wide awake drunk. Fantastic. People who put caffeine in wine deserve to be punished. I'm not putting caffeine in wine. I'm talking about the the loco mocos and all of that. Energy drinks and alcohol should not be a thing. Yeah, okay. And there probably shouldn't be lavender blossoms. Unless we <laughs> want to eat them. Alice likes a little snack with her wine. Now mm. this wine though, it it, it it's is freaking really good. awesome. What was that business name All right. for the wine? Do you remember what that business name was? Because mm. we're telling everybody all about her and how good it is. I'll find out and we'll post it. Okay. Hang on a minute. Let me see what's going on here. YouTube. YouTube. Okay, live. Search for all the Huh. Apparently, we're not live. Well. Not necessarily. It just may be hidden because they're silly. Here. No. Okay. While you figure that out, somebody's got a tower coming with the sun. Oh, that's going to be a breakthrough for somebody. Yes. Okay, multi-stream. YouTube connected. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hang on. Okay. Why is this not live? All right, we're ready to get down to business now. Yeah, but we should be live right here. Yeah. And for some reason, we're not. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh. 
Um, who is Dipper76 Gmail? That's who you gave me? No. Uh, okay. Wait. Hang on a minute. This should already be streaming. I don't get it. And now it's not letting me go here. Hang on. Oh. Let's look at stream camera. That's a full moon. Um, this isn't supposed to be that. It says upcoming. Okay, that's July 29th. Mm -hmm. August oh, 16th. Why? That's where we're at. That one is the one that should be live. It's supposed to be... And it says error duplicate stream key. Select a new key below. You just turned it off? Yeah, and I'm turning it back on. Live streaming. Hmm. Or switch, okay. I don't know. For some reason, we're not here. Okay. So, are we on video somewhere live right now? Yes. Okay. I wonder if anybody has said anything or asked any questions. Mm. Okay. Hey, Chrissy. Hello, Chrissy. We're trying to figure out our... Wonderful, uh, we're trying to figure out our wonderful. Well, we're, we're, if I can't figure out why we're not going live from YouTube, we should be. Hmm. Okay, we need somebody who knows this stuff. Does Let's anybody know this it. stuff? Let's manifest it. We need a video streaming guru, dude or dudette, or somebody yes. that knows this shit. A fantastic, techno technologically advanced, energetic being. Yes. That can take care of all of our video needs, editing, etc. Yes, and website and just all that electronic guru crap. Chris, but at least we're on still, Christy, are you still here? Christy, hello, hello. Ida, we can't get it figured out, so we're only on Facebook today. Yeah. Well, no, I got it figured out. It's it changed the stream key, and I had to go back in. But it's because, still not allowing it to post. Or it's still not allowing it to go live. I know. I don't get it. I don't either. But 
Um, yeah. Christy. I think she might have left us already. How are you, Ida? Oh, oh she yay. is there. She's in How there. are you today, Christy? I forget we have like a 30 second delay from when we ask a question until we get an answer when we're doing this. Yes, you are awesome. Thank you for being here. No, somehow it acts. She says she's good and wants to know how we are. I am drinking some fabulous organic lavender wine. I had I she's had double fisting it is. with a cup of coffee as well. And she's I think she wants me out of the video today because she drank all the coffee and, and left the pot <laughs> empty, so I had to go make coffee. And now she keeps putting everything mm -hmm. over into my little area. I think she just wants me to go away today so that she can have this space and time with you guys all to herself. Nah. I want to sit back and and drink my wine and coffee is, and let you talk. <laughs> <laughs> no. It is delicious. We got it at the KC Mystic Fair, and we are trying very, very hard to remember what the business <laughs> name was because it... We spent our mornings Hi. talking to customers and whatnot, and then we spent our afternoons talking to customers and sipping on wine after we had our lunch or after we had our dinner, depending on what time we decided to eat. That was good stuff, man. Yes, and this lady is a vegan cook. She made a oh, fantastic taco salad. vegan taco salad. It was so good. I realized that, um, yeah, I thought taco salad made me fart, but man. <laughs> <laughs> well. I know TMI, but hey, I was poo-pooing all over that fair. <laughs> Clearing spread the love. The, spread clear, the love. Clearing clear out the, love. the energy. <laughs> it was all their fault. Yes. And we had some amazing people in the oh, booths on yes. either side of us. Yes. The energy there was just fantastic. Magical mayhem ladies were amazing. Yes. Yes, they were. And they had all kinds of little handcrafted trinkets they had runes check this out they came in this runes. fantastic little bag that has a charm on it that is a half moon with a heart and then these runes as soon as we learn how to do them which we're studying they hand created these rooms, okay? They made them all wood burning, etc. We had the most wonderful time. And then they crocheted these little bags for. Yes, I showed the bag already. They're so cute, they have. Give me the wee bud. Oh, Alice. It's a wee bud. What's that? Um, it looks like candle wax. Well, it's been blessed then. Yes. <laughs> okay, yes. Christy. We had, we had so much fun. We had absolutely so much fun. And the customers came in and the customers would buy things from us. And a lot of the vendors, if you were a vendor, they would trade products for products. So we didn't have to cut into our own profits. Yes. It was absolutely amazing. And they loved us even though I made them cry. Yeah. By the third day, Alice was like, man, I want to get into these readings. I want to do, I'm going to read the readers. I'm going to go be the cheerleaders for the readers that are out there feeling defeated, but are so amazing. 
and I watched her make three vendors cry. Oops. And then they came back and, and gave us love. Yes, but I told her she couldn't make anybody else cry. I made her put up her cards for a while. And everybody said, why? And then VJ came over and she went, he went, what did you just do? <laughs> How would he? Yeah, I was like, mm, don't even. And now, Chrissy, I got a message for you. Now, I generally read the card as your relationship with spirit. And right now, you're kind of on the wheel with that relationship. And it's going round and round and round. And recently, you had a tower, which kind of made you feel some kind of way about yourself and it seemed like you just got to up seemed like something had you just got up off the floor and was doing pretty good and then something happened yeah and then it was a king of swords something happened and spirit wants you to know that it saw this here happening right here. And it's kind of proud of you for your strength. But it does want you to do a little shadow work, Christy, because it's saying that you aren't quite standing in your power yet. You're working on it, though. She doesn't even acknowledge that she has power yet. Well, she's stopping this healing. She's preventing this healing. You're talking yourself out of it. For some reason. I've been told that. Of course you have. Of course you have. This is the card of intuition. You don't trust yourself. It's upside down. That means you're... Talking Not yourself trusting. out of what you're feeling. Yeah. Spirit says you have strength on the physical plane, but you need to start taking that leap and trusting yourself because you got some juju, mama. You got an intuition. Oh, good. Yeah, it what it basically means is you don't understand yet your own power and how we actually keep ourselves from our blessings. And when we don't under uh, the reason we don't understand our own power is we don't understand the truth of the spirit that lives within us. And we kind of turn our back on it consistently by not trusting it. Mm -hmm. And spirit wants you to trust it. All right? You got a strong intuition. I think you probably had a lot of coincidence in your past. Like, oh, that was weird. Oh, somebody just called me. I was just thinking about her. Oh, that's weird. It you know, that kind of thing. It might even been more of a situation where she was supposed to go out and decided with not friends. To. And then all of a sudden, she started to not feel good. And go decided to go ahead and go home early and then come to find out something else happened they ran into somebody who was who was really creepy or yeah it ended up saving you you know yeah. weird, weird stuff do you have weird stuff happening to you like synchronicities and strange stuff mm -hmm. seeing 11 11 every day 222 444 Five fifty-five. Every day, yes, very much so. Every day it happens. That's, that's what your, this is. That's, that's what this is. This is your intuition. Your guides are reaching out to you every possible way they can. And that's my thing. That's right that here. gut feeling. Spirit is saying, "Trust me, because I am your intuition." It said that's an activation. Eleven, eleven. Sequence. Yes, that's so a that call to rise. action. That means rise, sweetheart. And I see this coming for you. Okay, I see you. Hey, Orijan. 
understanding yourself here enough to, to quit manifesting this worry and start manifesting your truth. Which means that you will be fine. Absolutely. Because that's what this is all about. That's the major or the minor arcana empress right there. The minor arcana, queen of pentacles, which is a court card, the minor arcana empress right here. And she is magical as hell. And let me tell you what, if this chicky right here, if you need don't watch her. If you needed verification, she just came out in my deck too. Yeah, that's a mini empress. You're you're working on um, coming into your power, sweetheart. But you need to trust yourself. And you need to believe in yourself. And that's what spirit is saying. When you don't believe in you, you don't believe in me. Trust me. Trust you. Watch what happens. You are ooh, worthy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She's going to get some news here. Mm -hmm. Something that has not been clear to you is going to be made very clear to you and very soon. The moon is about illusions. It's about seeing things that aren't there, things coming to light. It could be kind of what's done in the dark always comes to light. She said, I will. I promise. Promise mm -hmm. yourself, sweetheart. We're just here to send you a message. We're doing what well you do with done. it. What you do with it is all up to you. But may your own intuition lead you. And you are more than welcome to always come back and root us on and um ask for confirmation because we don't tell you how things go. We're here for confirmation for things that your guys are already trying to tell you. Yes. Most people that come here they find us for a reason, mm -hmm. and it's because that they have a specific calling, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they're not following their calling. Well, a lot of them don't even know that they have it, really, yet, True. but it's coming. Hi, Arjan. Is there anything we can do for you? And Ida? I haven't heard from you today. It's good to see you, sister. Uh-oh. Somebody's walking away from something. <laughs> good girl. Good girl. That's a it should I stay or should I go card. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, somebody's walking away from an upside down key. Mm -hmm. Healing from it. Mm -hmm. Awesome, Christy. Ooh, moving ahead to bigger. Oh, shit. Do you see good things coming? This is from Orijan. Yes, ma'am, or sir. Is Orijan. Okay. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing as soon as you get rid of whatever's holding you back, as soon as you walk away from whatever is uh, not serving you anymore, and I think you probably know what this is. As soon as you move ahead, that's a fast moving baby. That's a chariot. All right. As soon as you have that faith, that once you step off that cliff, you're going to be okay, you are going to come into a very powerful, okay, loving energy. Who's got the weight of the world on their shoulders right now? Right, right here, same place mine is. Right mm -hmm. here, yeah, yeah, on the other side. Well, mine's on the right, mine's on the left. Hmm. Okay, who doesn't have the weight of the world on their shoulders? You Ida, ah, you, know? you better set that shit down. Those burdens don't belong to you. Sort your emotions, figure out which one's yours, which one's somebody else's. Which person projected their anger, frustration, energies onto you and hand that shit back. Because that hurts. That's heavy. Don't just hand it back. <laughs> just hand it back. Okay, you, I ain't got to be obnoxious about it. Just let spirit know, hey man, I'm not carrying what's be not mine today. Be obnoxious if you feel obnoxious, Edith. If you don't feel obnoxious, don't be obnoxious. But if I feel like feeding that shit right back to him, I do. All right. 
that's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that if it if it serves the correct purpose to the help somebody purpose. grow. Yes. Okay. Okay, well, I'm seeing an upside down ten of cups, and I think that upside down ten of cups is what she needs to walk away from. Or he. Well, I think it's getting ready to happen. Yeah, me too. I think that you actually, Orijan, are finally starting to see things from a different light and finally starting to trust what you're seeing. We've got an upside down King of Wands, a right side up King of Pentacles, and then we've got the upside down Tower. It's almost like you're trying to hold things together so that they don't fall apart, but you're about to just... Put your hands up and say, okay, um, this is just, it's going to have to fall. It's going to have to. Yes. What was that um, movie from Disney, Frozen? Fuck it all. Fuck it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the good, that's our version of it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, as soon as, whatever situation you're in. You justice is about to be served, ma'am, sir. I'm so sorry. You typically we try to be able to tell by your names, but I'm not sure if yours is a masculine name or a feminine name. And I apologize if I'm misgendering you. Yes, it, but we do have a little blockage in the heart check right here. Yeah, we yeah, we also have Six of Pentacles is upside down. It, uh, open yourself up to what what is the higher lesson? Because it's like there's something that you're you're just not quite understanding yet. Self worth. It's a message. It's coming in from the Page of Cups, so it's coming in from love. But it's something that you're not. You're just not. But the page is reaching kind of, for. Page is kind of a lower lower uh, understanding of the total package that love is and you have to really go deeper and be vulnerable really be vulnerable to somebody to be able to reach those deeper levels right and see what we have here is a lack of trust a lack of trust in themselves a lack of trust in other people and the reason they have a lack of trust is, and find those untrustworthy people is because of that lack of trust in themselves. That's coming out. Okay. So a choice is going to be presented to you. I see celebration and friendship. And justice is on its way. That means the divine's involved. Whenever Absolutely. that justice card pops up that means the divine is watching that situation yes and it is using everybody's eyes and ears and it knows everything from every single aspect yes yes but what i do see is some celebrations ahead yeah. some reasons to celebrate Yes, I, there is trust problems, and there's trust problems all over. Let's just face it. People don't know how to trust themselves because they've been told uh, stuff all their life on how they, who they should be, how they should act, da 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 So I, are there financial problems with this as well? Because you've got... Uh-huh. You've got the Nine of Pentacles upside down. And you also have the two of pentacles where it's, it's like it's your money's being juggled and you're kind of robbing Peter to pay Paul kind of energy. You taking just trying to make ends meet and they're not quite meeting up. 
I feel like they, that's also in the Six of Pentacles being upside down. There's something that's not quite being, something's not quite come to light yet about this financial, I'm going to call it a dire strait. There's something you've been working on. Though. There's something you've been working hard on. And if you keep working hard and go to that deeper level, even in whatever this is that you've been working hard on, You'll find what you're looking for, but you got to open that heart chakra and you got to trust yourself. Oop. Yep. That's what I can't happen. say it. I can't say it any better than just showing that card. That is the absolute best card in the deck. Yep. And it's that means, you, sweetheart. That means that everything that has been an issue in the past is going to clear up and you, you're moving into a completely better situation. Things just have to, you have to let go of this tower mm -hmm. and let, let things let fall. Gotta let it happen. Because let me tell you what happens after a tower. What happens is uh, everything that, that made that tower faulty, it's faulty. All right. If it, if it doesn't, if we don't bring it down, it's going to fall on people's heads. It's going to make it worse. All right. That's what happens when we keep that tower standing when it doesn't need to be big, but boom bad all right so we gotta go ahead and tear that faulty thing down so it can be rebuilt with a solid foundation with a solid foundation but it has to be a solid foundation of mind and heart co-creation of the mind and heart yes all right so what I see here is that you need a little different perspective because, you know, I, I think you've been doing a little bit of stinking thinking. And I call stinking thinking. Those are always fun. Good. So you have to keep your oh, we're gonna eye on the prize because on, you got some stuff on the floor. You got some wonderful things coming to you. Because you you've been working on something hot and heavy, but you gotta you gotta have some trust. She getting in. ready to reach for it. Yes. You're getting ready to reach for that cup, the one up there that's holding that holding out to you. Not that's your spirit full. right there. That's the one you're getting ready to reach for. Don't be afraid to dream big. All right. Don't be afraid to dream big. King of Pentacles. That's a yes. I got the Six of Cups. There is something about returning to something. We got the King of Pentacles over here, too. Yeah. We got you got to go down. back to the basics. This is a... a, a Playfulness, usefulness, innocence, creativity. I feel like this stinking thinking is robbing you of your prize and you need to start grasping onto that innocence and that wonder of that child that's in you when you go into this. All right. Do you remember what it was like to be a child, whether it was meeting new people or going to new places? Remember the childlike excitement and possibility of what's going to happen next? We all really need to be able to embrace that and let those possibilities flow because you can't, you can't really stop a kid from, really, we can no. learn a lot from kids. No. So, and, and, and how a child, they, they get in their feelings and they they flip on those tears and they cry for a little while and then all of a sudden they're up happy back running and playing and carrying on again so they don't let things keep keep them down for a very long time my freaking nose itches why does your nose itch i don't know scratch it okay are we back we're still here. Yeah, it's a bit. Well, yes, yeah, hard times as a child, too. Yes, yeah, good days, too. Hang on to the good days. Yes. 
hang on to the good days and remember that wonderment of those good days and the fun and the innocence and the laughter and the, that that joy because that's what we need to get back to and honestly I mean I'm at the point where I know I'm supposed to be vulnerable and I know that nine out of ten chances with people the way they are these days I'm going to be hurt but see I know that because people right now don't understand themselves and understand how how amazing they are and their own strength and their own power especially when they understand spirit and how spirit's constantly bending over backwards just to to let you know how worthy you are and let you know that you have it in you because this queen of wands she's a go-getter she's a hot mama too she can have whatever she wants she's magical as hell too she understands the power of that heart mind meld when you get those two working together and not let your mind not trust your heart because your heart is pure keep in mind that at the end of your life it's your mind that's going to kill your heart okay your heart never kills your mind your mind always kills your heart and when you have that heart mind collusion and they get together and you let what's inside of you form your reality instead of letting your reality form you and cause that tower shit over there and make you have to walk away that's when the magic happens and the only way you can do that is to trust yourself and understand that spirit trusts and love you too don't be afraid to make a mistake because if there's a mistake made it was supposed to be made yep it's just one whether million. it's for your learning or for theirs it's just one million different understandings of what didn't work what didn't work in order to create what actually does work yes and the only true losers are the ones who quit time yes that was tesla i think these are tesla or einstein so i never fail i just find many ways that didn't work yep yep so yes i see good things coming for you you just got to open that heart and trust yourself and love yourself yes right Stop now second guessing yourself oh yeah right now the wheel of fortune is turning for you there's a two of cups and a queen of swords here i believe you're going to be moving in truth after that wheel stops you're going to be moving from a different perspective which is going to bring you some time in your head and there's a warning here with this time in your head with this new perspective if you find yourself thinking negativity like worry and you start thinking about all the things that can go wrong as soon as you see yourself doing it so you don't enter this energy which is the eight of swords you see how she's loosely bound there and she could easily walk out of those swords but she's afraid she's afraid to walk out of those swords and all she would have to do is untie herself, take off that blindfold, and step forward. So you don't find yourself in this energy. What I want you to do when you start having those worried thoughts about everything that can go wrong, you start thinking about everything that can also go right. And you start doing that instead and see what happens. You have some manifesting ability, sweetheart. You need to use it. Hey, Nika. Hey, Nika. So sorry we missed you so long yesterday. Guess what? YouTube's getting ignored today. 
<laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. But anyway. Hopefully things will iron out quickly so that we can be back on all platforms. Yeah, I just need to change that from webcam to the live stream from here. Right. How are you doing today, Nika? Wonderful, John. Oh. Nika's ready to throw down those wands. She's ready to lift those burdens. Good. Burn those bitches. Psh, I bet you the Ten of Wands pile would make a good bonfire. I bet it would. I know, right? We're going to have to try that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try that. Maybe not today. We have rain where we're at today, mm. and it, it it it's one of those beautiful um, light rains. Oh, it would be great for a bon for a fire right now. Go outside, sit outside. Yeah. The other night it was kind of hot when we did it, but it was you so nice. You are more than welcome, Arjan. Love finance and moving situation, says Nika. Had dreams about my mom and dad and long passed away cousins. Oh. Did the cousins say anything to you? Nika? Or did your mom and dad say anything to you? Mm -hmm. They still speak to you. Do you remember? Okay. <laughs> well, usually when you have a dream, there's some kind of speaking going on. Yes, if if people can remember their dreams, usually there's a message to them. Absolutely, and you have to decode the message. And usually, I mean, sometimes it's my cousin prayed for me and David. Okay. Sometimes you have to decode everything. They said everything will be okay. Okay, so what are you worried about? They're coming to you from the spirit realm where they can see the they they can see all timelines. Have patience. Your well, family. Maybe they're trying families. to get her to not worry because they don't want her to manifest that negativity. It's a possibility. You know, that worry has some real juju to it. And right. if we spend our time in worry instead of faith and gratitude, we tend to have things to worry about instead of things to be grateful for. Right. And that could be why they're telling you not to worry because they know you got some juju too. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. What do you say, Bill? Well, it did, it did, that's very valid. That's very valid. I mean, she's got valid reasons to be stressed. Absolutely. But just because she's got valid reasons to be stressed doesn't, doesn't mean you have to worry about it. Understand that it's a situation that's only temporary. Like, all of our situations are temporary in this life. Even this lifetime is temporary. Well, me and David have been separated for six months now, and he won't talk to me thought was strange she prayed for us well there's some kind of reunion coming and i don't know if it's the guy from the past and this king of cups energy but she's showing up as the queen of wands so she she doesn't understand her own power of manifestation either she needs to get a different perspective yes so she can celebrate some wins yeah. Oh, okay. And not be stuck in the past. Be here manifesting what you want tomorrow. What you Okay. I wanna know something about this king of cult. Alright, yeah, I see you moving forward. And embrace, I see her embracing her empress. I see her getting a message and feeling oh, yeah. her power. Yeah. It's coming. It's been slow. Mm -hmm. 
Does it show as my ex-husband or ex-boyfriend I saw Saturday? Yeah, we get them as energy. They don't have names on them. So we get them as an energy. And this person is a King of Cups energy. Let's look at them. King of Cups could be a water sign like Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Pisces. Throwing them on the floor here. Spirit got a hold of your deck, huh? It could just be a, a man who is ooey gooey, soft and chewy on the inside, but a uh, cold fish on the outside. Has anybody gotten a new job lately? One of them? She did. It is a cancer, June 23rd. She got a new job? Yes. Can I have that daisy? Is she feeling so Okay, I got a feeling this might be your boyfriend. Or the, the new guy. Okay, there's a lot of letting go going on mm -hmm. from something in the past. We've got the Five of Cups upside down, the Ten of Swords upside down. That Five of Cups upside down is a big thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just, so you're doing a lot of us. letting go of energies, and you are ready to start healing. You're ready to start making moves. And not lateral ones. Oh, and he did, because he just got out of prison. Mm. Well then. Okay. Okay. So don't be making blind choices. Mm -hmm. Get up there. Because right now you're on the wheel of fortune, and the wheel of fortune spins round and round. And where are you gonna get off? So wheel with these fortune. men, don't be making blind choices. You see that blindfold on the two of swords? Make sure you take it off and look at the whole situation before you um make a decision okay there's the wheel oh. and the hermit go within sweetheart you're working on something here there's that king of cups again all right well i think it's time to walk away from the old way of thinking and embrace uh the truth of you instead of what society has that's funny yes what society has stuff. programmed into you love christy mm -hmm. hold on christy we'll get to you or back to you yes that's all about healing so, nika you you already know we've had this discussion several times we've been you, we've been having conversations for some years. Start using your psychic energies. Start, start trusting yourself. Yeah, because sweetheart, you're coming up as an empress. Yeah, she's got some pretty magical. Um, and in blood. this one, you actually came up as the emperor as well, which uh, is the match. To the Empress, which was in your last one. So that's about a balance of energy within you of the Holy Masculine and the Holy Feminine, which that is one powerful person once you balance. That's basically balance of the head and heart. Regaining your power. This card is addiction, Sneka. Figure out what these high passions are and get them under control. She just told you. <laughs> she just told you. You got to balance that head and heart, man. Well, that's an addiction. And that is an addiction. And that's also... But addiction... Okay. Addiction. Let's talk about that for a second, because when somebody says an addict, they automatically think drugs and alcohol. But let's throw some other things in there that can be addictions. Anything you lust for could be addiction. Money can be an addiction. Approval can be an addiction. 
popularity. Yes, those likes on Facebook or YouTube or shopping can be an addiction. Um, the next destination can be an addiction. I'll be happy when I get this. And then you get there and then, well, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not really happy here. I'll be yeah, happy when I, I get to the next spot. Of living in the gratitude. There is all kinds of things that can be labeled as addictions. Sometimes we have more than one. Sometimes, sometimes our whole life is an addiction and we don't even realize it until we start peeling away those layers. Sometimes we get addicted to people who are very toxic. Absolutely. Trauma bonds are addictions. Yep. So, you know, usually addictions are driven by self-worth again. Yes. Some kind of fucked up sense of self-worth that society has imposed on us. Or our have. parents have imposed in on, on us. Or our religion, religion has imposed on us. It's or, a fucked up belief, basically. Yes. And we have to see, okay, what is it that I believe that's making me feel unworthy? What is it that I'm doing that's making me feel unworthy of this magical, beautiful gift? Man, I was looking on Facebook today and I found, I found a post on okay, father love. issues and I was reading that and I hit over half of them for me. Yes, love is coming. Christy, but I think when it does, you're not going to be seeing it as that because I think you're going to be looking over here somewhere for some reason. I think something about this person isn't going to be exactly what you thought it should be. And possibly you already know them because there is a Six of Cups here. So that signifies a return. Let me look at this a little more. Yep. This is about getting a hold of something from the past that has I don't know I did you quit believing in love Christy because there's a little apathy card here is she moving by September yes recently Okay. I figure after we get done with Crystal's question, go back to Nika's. I'm getting it. Well, there's Nika's answer right there. Okay, oh, Nika, me. your answer is yes. It came out as the Queen of Cups, so there you go. By September, in September maybe, by September, when, I think pretty soon. I think pretty soon, um, it may be, well, let me look, that's an A, or, that's clean. Yeah, I'm getting either around the first week or two of September, you'll be moved. That's my feeling. But I got the blind choices card, so <laughs> make sure you know exactly what you're getting into when you sign that, ma'am. And back to Christy. All right, Christy. Well, once we kind of rectify that fear and apathy of... relationships himself should I say um, I think you're gonna get your wish and you're gonna hear something
on that level but spirits waiting for you to heal a little bit because yeah this is the chariot this person wants to come in they want to move it. i feel like you already know them i'm maybe a libra gemini or aquarius I feel like he's uh, he's a very Gemini. Yeah. So when you guys split, there was a big blowout and left you kind of feeling uh really in your feelings, depressed. Things she didn't see hit her over the head. Yeah, that's what this Ooh. judgment card is here. You too. Second yeah. one that came out. Yep, yep. I got However, the Ace of Cups, that's another one of those get bit good, really good cards. Your cup's about to get filled up. Yep. There's judgment going on. Somebody's going to get a different perspective of things. The, 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 thing, the thing that I'm seeing here, and I'm... I'm gonna try to not get too um I'm not gonna try to get too much into your business, but you guys weren't matched up in your energies. You're showing up as the Queen of Wands and he's showing up as an emperor. So yeah, I'm kinda getting the feeling that the argument that you guys had that caused it to end had more to do with your energy and something that wasn't setting right than it was to do with his. Okay, so I'm getting maybe a yes on you, Nika. I think you asked two questions there, and the first one was maybe, the second one was yes. And what we're talking about with blind choices is don't be uninformed. Make sure you know what you're getting into before you make a choice. That's what the blindfold with the two of swords is. That's about making smart moves and not heart moves sometimes. Depends on what you're dealing with. Yep. But your intuition should be telling you. Yep. And you should be listening to your intuition. Yes. We're here for confirmation on what you're already feeling. We are not here to tell you how you need to live your life move by move by move. You got to take an active part in your life. Yeah, we cannot give you your free will. All we can do is advise you on the situation and the energy at hand. And it's... it's um. Uh, it's a uh, when you change your mind, the energy Alice, changes. Can you call me when you're finished here? Had vivid dreams, have questions for too detailed for here. Absolutely, okay. Ida. Yes, we will call you when we get done here. Just, I think the blind choices that I got was about the move. I think you're gonna have choice of places. And what I was getting is make sure you check into those places well and you know what you're getting into. Yeah, don't move from one barrio to the next. Yes. And Christy, what we're saying is that there was some energy in the past that you're still rectifying. And as soon as you rectify it, the right one's going to come in. So I feel like you're actually working on this and... Um, I think you're going to come to a, a, okay. I think you're going to come to a conclusion pretty quick. When people, when people have disagreements, sometimes you don't realize that it's yourself that is the toxic one. You, you have these big blow ups and you think that things need to be this way because of whatever reason. But in a, in a situation where you're trying to grow with somebody, you actually have to take a hard look at yourself, too, and see if your ways of thinking are the ones that are outdated. 
sometimes we are the toxic one in a relationship and we have to we have to change and rectify that and if we don't we're going to create the same circumstances again and where does our toxicity come from usually? toxicity comes from Fear. typically childhood typically childhood traumas the ego the things that you have um the things the defense mechanisms that you have put up that worked when you were a child don't continue to work the same way throughout your entire life so you have to go back through and start thinking about things and get to the root of the problem. I was talking about that just a few minutes ago when I said I was reading the post on Facebook about father issues for women. I, I just, it was what it was. My dad was a strong, silent type person. He really didn't say a whole lot. He was a brooding man. And as I read what the triggers were and the things that the patterns that are associated with father issues i hit over half of them and i was like oh my gosh here i've just been thinking that you know this is it is what it is and i'm a toxic person i'm not ready to be in a in a relationship i have so many issues but now I can start addressing because I finally looked at myself from a non-judgmental viewpoint to realize that now I, I'm the problem. I'm the problem. So now I can fix it. Nico, I want you, I want you to, um, work on an affirmation. And uh, I feel like sometimes you feel like your hands are tied. I want you to remember, I can. All right? I can. Everywhere you think you can't, I want you to say, yes, I can. Thank you, Christy. And Christy. Christy says, I love your honesty. I need it. Oh, yes. My childhood was really bad. Very understood understanding since my divorce i've been self-reflecting i appreciate you both so very much christy yours is i know because i think there's a lot that you know that you don't think you know and the energy of the fool which the energy of the fool is all about new beginnings Yes, yes, childlike innocence, new beginnings, fun new journeys. Two of Cups. Ooh, that's a soulmate energy. Eight of Wands. That's action. That's movement. Um, can you tell Nika her um affirmation again, please? Well, whenever you think I can't. You need to start thinking instead, yes, I can. Because when you think I can't, that's putting that energy out there in the universe. And I want you to stop thinking you can't. And I want you to start manifesting I can. All right. I can has to do with. Your solar plexus chakra. And your solar plexus chakra is your intuition. I can trust my intuition. Usually it's the first thing you think about as soon as you hear something. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. That click. Mm -hmm. Without second guessing, it's your first feeling on it. And yes, you can. You can trust it. So, I can. Whatever you think you can't do, you need to switch to, I can. The I can is for you, yes. The I know is for Christy.
Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, and that's what you're manifesting. You need to start turning that around. You need to start turning that around, lady. You have, yeah, you have like everything said. within you to bring about the life that you want. Stop thinking of it as so far away and start thinking of it as you're already living in it. I am happy. I am abundant. I am love. I am whole within myself. Yes. I am beautiful. I am secure. I am wise. I am wise. I am amazing. I am the best mother, wife, lover I can be. I am. I am can be a statement. I am all that I am. And only you set your boundaries. Absolutely. And on the bottom of the deck is the the Ace of Cups. If that's not confirmation on that I am the magician, I can make magic out of thin air. I am. I am mm -hmm. a full cup. Mm-hmm. I am a full cup of divine love, not that poison cup of fish piss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And sometimes we just need an understanding of, of where we are devoting our time and energies and what we're actually doing in self-sabotage to keep us down. Like Nika, why don't you honestly... Why don't you write down in a month's time how much money you spend on alcohol? Okay? Yeah. Just every time you go out and have a drink, write that dollar amount down. At the end of the month, add it all up. Find out how much money you're spending on alcohol that and you could be spending towards your dreams. And then set a goal. I mean, I understand everybody needs a little getaway sometimes and a, a, and a, and a nice glass of wine or a, a, a drink or whatever every once in a while is, is a nice release. It becomes an addiction when it takes precedence over everything right. else. If you, if you have to have it to be able to get through your day, then it becomes a problem. If you don't feel comfortable unless you have a certain amount of it in the house and around, then it becomes a problem. Then you end up being something that's a little out of control because you're trying to feel better in some way. Well, it's like a baby's blankie. You know, the baby, when they're little and they have their favorite blankie and you need to wash it and they won't let it out of their sight and you know that for the for the hour and a half that you're doing laundry to wash that blankie, the baby is going to be standing at the washing machine screaming bloody murder, tears rolling down its face because the struggle is real. That's what that is. Well, I'm getting resilience. Absolutely. She she bounces back, bounces back consistently. And then things get, it, it's a spiral. Well, I, it, it's, she's going up and down. Yes, it's a spiral. But it's the down part. And usually the down part comes from being triggered by some kind of emotion Absolutely. that is not healed from your childhood. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, basically, Nika, you do understand that alcohol is a depressant, right? So, when you get depressed, alcohol is going to influence that depressed feeling even more and make you even more depressed. Plus, it makes your body addicted. Yes. So, quite honestly, if you suffer from depression, alcohol really is not your friend because it does not help lift you out of that. It makes it that much worse. Yeah. 
So then you have to figure out what is going to make it better. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Do you like to cook? When you feel depressed, go in the kitchen and create a recipe, something new for the kids to eat. Or go take a walk. Exercise is amazing for depression. Grab the kids. Go Journal. to the park. Journal those feelings. Get them out in a constructive way instead of picking up a bottle. There's so many different things that we can do. But you have to understand, too. You have to understand that it takes 21 days to make a habit. You have to do something consistently every day for 21 days before it becomes a habit. And quite honestly, I think that's a crock of shit. That's what the experts say because I've been doing yoga off and on for like five years and I'll do it for three weeks straight and then I'll take four weeks off, but then I'll go back and do it for three weeks straight or four weeks straight or two months straight. But you have to make a conscious decision that you're going to change your life and your emotions and your feelings. Now, I'm not saying that the depression is easy because there actually really is a chemical imbalance in the brain that, that can cause depression. So you might want to look into some things like maca powder and start making things from in the kitchen with maca powder because maca powder actually helps balance female hormones. It helps with depression. It also puts a little weight on your booty and uh, helps um, helps balance your female issues, your, your menstrual cycle, etc., etc. So, you know, there's all kinds of different things that you can do that can help. And it's not going to take a whole lot out of your day to do it, but you're going to feel 110 times better. B12. B12, man, that causes depression. That causes um, fatigue. It causes dementia. It causes all kinds of things if your body is deficient in B12. And the good thing about B12, you can't overdose yourself on it. You can find maca powder in the grocery store. You can B12. find it in Walmart. B12, you can find in Walmart too. Not that I'm to, plugging Walmart. Not that I'm plugging Walmart. Or go to a place called the Drip Bar. Yeah, right? There's all They'll kinds of places. They'll give you a B12 shot. <laughs> right? There's all kinds of places that you can get if it. If you are B12. I mean, you efficient. can order it on Amazon. Okay? It did. There's it's all different everywhere. kinds of things that you can do. It's in food too. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. It's a root. Maca. Maca is a root. It's a yeah. They grind the root up into a powder, and then it go. You can put it in a smoothie. I used to make maca balls with walnuts, which helps with depression, and um, a little bit of honey and some chocolate chips. And I think I, 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 I'll have to look up the recipe, but I used to put a couple of different things in it and d they were fantastic. I would eat a couple of those and my energy level would even be up. It was like a little superfood. I like mango. Mango? Mango works on my energy. Yeah, mango does work on your energy. <laughs> and I know why you like mango so much. <laughs> works on your high too it opens uh, the tac receptors yes it does, does. it does no well, it's, my God. Uh, maybe well you would want to start out probably with a quarter of a teaspoon and work your way up don't take more than a tablespoon a day but don't start out with a tablespoon i would read a b12 deficiency and see if those signs are yours you, right? Because if you take it, if you take someone that's high She's in B12, talking about maca powder, right? But that's the B12. No, like, right? no. Oh, maca powder helps with your hormones and whatnot. It's that package in there that you've been yelling at me that I haven't started using yet. Yeah, yeah. B12 is is it works with your energy as well. It helps with depression and whatnot. Oh, so maca powder isn't B12. No, maca powder is not B12. I don't know. 
Yeah, you start out with like a quarter of a teaspoon and then you work your way up. I don't Because it can also, if you just jump right into a whole tablespoon, it can cause you a stomach ache. I am not naturally a depressed person. I will go into depression, but I do not unpack and stay there. You can't make me. Yeah, well, he's going to have to go on uh, Facebook. Facebook. He can tonight. go to the merging of Authentically Alice and Dust to Dawn. I think that's the page that we're on. Yeah, that's... something happened and the YouTube channel isn't broadcasting live. Yeah. So it's just another setting that got screwed up when I was trying to fix the other settings. Yeah. Like I said, we'll get it worked out soon. I swear we will. I'm going to let Dawn do it. <laughs> Do you see that face? <laughs> you know, sometimes we don't like each other very well. Yes, we do. And if Dawn has to fix it, Alice is going to be making coffee and stuff. Okay. All day. I'll be coffee and stuff if I don't have to deal with a headache of freaking electronics. Oh, man. Ooh, six of cups. All righty. Well, I'm embracing that childlike energy, what which time? we all need to do. What time is it? I don't know. It is right there on the stove. Oh, shit. Uh, 724. Wow. I'm, th I'm thinking that we're going to go ahead and close out today because... Because of more electronic BS. Nope. I don't really care about the electronic BS. That, that is what it is. It'll get worked out. But um, somebody did not get their walk last night, and they were not a very happy puppy. So um, we okay. got to make sure that we get that done today. Yes. So we are going to get and off I need here. to make my bed because I spilled coffee on it. Yeah. Eat it or wear it. Eat it or wear it. And I need to call Ida. <laughs> yes. Okay, guys. Love you. Namaste, and we will see you Saturday. Blessed be, be blessed. Namaste.